I believe that the Lord God created the universe. The Book of Mormon follows the adventures of two Mormon missionaries sent to Uganda. It's been a smash hit on Broadway, winning nine Tony Awards. It's played to packed houses in the US, the UK, and is now premiering here in Australia at the Princess Theatre in Melbourne. Mormon, and the Mormon trust Why did you think the musical? We've been trying to do the, the real big musical for a long, you know, when, we, when, we, when Paramount said, hey, South Park's pretty popular, do you want to do a movie? We said, yeah, it's going to be a musical. You know, and they're like, ah, oh, man. To finally do the big Broadway musical was something definitely always a dream of mine and something that we just knew would be something new and cool to try to pull off. Yeah. The sky is blue and all the leaves are green. So the guys clearly love musicals. Their first project while studying at university was this film, Cannibal the Musical. I want to think about it now. Yeah. I'm so lonely. They also created Team America, World Police, a puppet pack satire brimming with original compositions. But I had to ask them, why a musical about Mormons? They have this kind of cheesy aesthetic that's sort of like Rodgers and Hammerstein, sort of Disney in the 50s. That's because they're, they, you know, they're an American religion and they're relatively new. I mean, it's only from the early 1800s. And so it really became popular in a big church in the 40s, 50s, 60s in America. So their art and sort of their general kind of aesthetic is, is cheesy. And it just fits this perfect kind of level of, of cheese for, for musical. They always look like they're about to bust out in the song. Hello. My name is Elder Young. Hello. But are they singing the praises of the musical? We went to Mormon HQ in Melbourne and found the atmosphere quite thoughtful. Why isn't the Church of the Latter-day Saints offended by this to the core? Look, you know, whilst there's offensive material that's, that's there, the Church is taking the position, rather than, than being offended by it, to recognise that we're being represented in the, in the media. And I'd also be surprised if many people come out of the musical and and think that it's a documentary on what we believe, you know, I, I, I'd be ver I'd be very surprised. I, I am blown away by the attitude of the Mormon Church itself to your scurrilous production. Yes, <laughs> it's cool, right? The way that the way that they sort of go, okay, well, you do that show, and this is who we are, and we we. Uh you have freedom of speech and we respect that. It's pretty cool, right? Well, it's unheard of, really. I mean, if, if, if you're doing the same thing about the Catholic Church or if it was about Jews or if it's about the, 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 you know, the Episcopalians, they'd be down on you, wouldn't they? Yeah, it's not their MO. And we knew, you know, we grew up in Colorado, which is right next to Utah. We grew up with a lot of Mormon friends and like my first serious girlfriend was Mormon. So like we, we knew a lot of Mormons. And we knew when we, were, when we were opening the show in New York, there were some people going, oh man, what do you think the Mormons are going to do? And we're like, then they're going to be cool about it. And I believe Yeah, look, it'd be unfair um, uh, on the musical to say that th this isn't three three hours of, of um, you know the writers of South Park bashing Mormons up. It's not. There are certainly some some parts that don't represent um, uh, our theology, and so you know, whilst it's not the ideal launching point for us um, uh, um, and our you know our doctrines, um, it is a, a great opportunity for us to be part of a conversation, and, and that's what we're seeing it as. And it has started a conversation. There's a 10-foot high Book of Mormon in Federation Square. There are missionaries on the streets. I drove in today and I saw a, an I Heart Mormons sign uh, downtown Melbourne. And, you know, in li my lifetime I've never seen that. I don't know if I will again, but uh, the, the missionaries, full-time missionaries we've got, they're reporting that people are more interested to, to talk to them than they ever have been before. And in a little bit of irony, they're actually having people coming up to them and asking them about uh, the church as well, which having served as a missionary myself 30 years ago, that never happens. <laughs> that's so. right, that's right. I'm sorry, we're, we're all booked up, we're busy. <laughs> we're busy, I can't have this conversation again today. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm, I'm hoping, that, never I'm hoping that don't do that, don't do that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Joseph Smith was called a prophet, dum, 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 dum. The Mormons have been at the pointy end of Trey and Matt's musical baton before in season seven of South Park. Look. Maybe us Mormons do believe in crazy stories that make absolutely no sense. And maybe Joseph Smith did make it all up. But and I South Park is about to start its 21st season this year.
I think one of the things that I'm most admiring of of you two, you know, is, is extraordinary body of work that you've, you've created, but also this this collaboration. Like here, you still are. You still seem to be friends. You're still still working together, you know, year after year after year. Why why has that worked? Well, we've just been through we've been through so much together now. It would just be such a waste. Should I eat a cuttlefish and asparagus or the vanilla pesto? <laughs> But it is like we've put ourselves into pressure cookers and together, and it's like after you've been through enough deadlines like we've been through, it's like you know, it's that, that kind of creates a bond, you know? What sort of pressure do you feel now to, 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 do, to, to whatever it is you do next? Is it, is it that sort of thing you'll just wait and see? Yeah, we have, we have a season of South Park, you know, like I said, the deadline, the deadline will be inspirational at some point. TV, once you get it going, it's like, we have to put something, something's going on in the air, we have to do it. In fact, it's probably quite good that you've got that, you don't have to come up with a, a second musical. I, I feel really sympathetic for Lin-Manuel Miranda, it's like, what are you going to do now? Well, and we have that How feeling too. How would you too. ever top that? Well, <laughs> what are you going to do, yeah. you know? I mean, we would basically have to do Hamilton to top Book of Mormon, so it's like, you know what, we have the same attitude of like, well... We live the best possible version you know, of it, you know? It's, it's like, like if, we did, if we went and did a musical and we only got five Tonys, we'd be like, hmm, <laughs> we only got five Tonys, you know? <laughs> You can catch the Book of Mormon at the Princess Theatre in Melbourne.